Hello, welcome to Yates Makes. In this video, I'm just going to talk you through a few of the experiments I've been doing over the past week, mainly involving a masking tape collagraph I've made based on seaweed. Here it is, probably easier to see from the back because the front's got a bit stained. But using this collagraph plate to transfer onto a gel plate just to see if I can create some atmosphere, depth, texture by combining the two processes, both of which I've been looking at in kind of recent weeks anyway. All right, let's get on with it. So firstly, important to state that I'm using masking tape on a piece of stiff acrylic perspex. So what did I want to achieve in this? I just wanted to know if I could use a masking tape collagraph as a direct transfer onto my gel plate. So you can see I've kind of done seaweed as a theme, offering me loads of layers, help me try to achieve or help me try and explore depth in a monoprint. You can see that I've used ripped edges, straight cut edges, I've used rings, sometimes two, three, four layers. Um, and just to try and build a variety of surface and depth on the actual plate. You can see sometimes in this still show that I've inlaid certain areas and sometimes I've kind of stacked areas up on top of each other in hope of creating some depth. Okay, let's have a look at the first transfer. So I inked up in a uh, fairly dark colour, just a mix of... Um, a phthalo blue and some black fairly thin even layer and once inked up I just flipped my collagraph masking tape collagraph over and I'm pressing down with my fingers um, just as a starting technique to see how well this transfers peel it up and you can see most of that detail has transferred which has got to be a win. So I let that layer dry completely and um, I'm going to try and add a little colour um, just with the roller very thinly, very loosely, some greens, some kind of ochres, uh, just to give some sort of colour variety running through those different types of seaweed. Uh, so there you go, very thin layers, just working quite loose. Again, these layers I let dry completely before moving on to the final stage, which is this stage where I've added um, some white, a little green and a little orange at the end to pull the print off. So hoping that this layer will pull all of those dry layers underneath it off. Um, now this print didn't go so well, um, as you'll see in a second, I think because I've just added too much thick paint in areas of this wet layer um, this mistake I've made before um, you know you live and learn right but what I did realize in pulling this print is that I can definitely achieve some depth with this masking tape collagraph transfer technique I'm kind of improvising developing so I went on pulled a second one there it is much more promising much cleaner so again, moving on, the thing that was missing in that last one was I didn't, I wanted a little more contrast. So I've gone with a darker layer for my first impression, if you like, my first transfer from the collagraph plate. Again, just using my fingers to kind of fairly randomly add pressure. I'll come on to how I address that in a minute. Um, again, inking up with some colours, letting all of these dry and finally pulling the print with one wet layer now this one came off fairly clean and you know it's a, it's a good outcome it's still not quite what i had in mind but there's definitely some depth in there and there's loads of interesting variety of marks and i'm getting some of my cut shapes come through quite clean in areas quite murky in others so I went on um, and my idea was transfer and pull off in one layer onto 
some watercolour paper giving me the option to hand colour a print which is a lovely process. Now what I didn't like about this one is that the kind of detail is a little uneven. I've lost a lot of detail. So my final experiment and where I feel I kind of cracked it was instead of using my fingers to transfer um, and add pressure I used a book and then pressed very lightly with the pressure of that book and got a lovely even print quite a ghostly print that I could either leave as is or I could hand colour but certainly I've achieved some depth some of these shapes and forms have got kind of natural shadowed areas and yeah can do a run of these and it's all knowledge it's all experience it's all process and steps along the way <laughs> you know art for me is definitely journey as much as destination okay there you go hopefully you enjoyed the video that you got something from it that you can take to help develop your own processes your own kind of um, experiments just before I say goodbye I want to say a massive thank you to one of the subscribers to my channel called I know who really kindly shared the channel on a Facebook gel printing group I gathered this from a comment thread on one of the videos anyway thanks I know really good of you to share the more exposure the channel gets the more I'm going to be encouraged to make videos and you know perhaps what I don't communicate to you guys too much is you know as, as much as it seems you're getting something from my experiments sharing techniques you know I'm getting a lot probably more than you guys because it's encouraging me to be creative think of solutions and push my own techniques forward which is uh, going to keep me busy keep me sane all right so take it easy and I will see you soon in the next video all right take it easy bye bye